Hey y'all, we got water in the house and today we are replacing all of our electrical, uh, I don't know what you call them, all of our light sources in the kitchen. So we're replacing all of our light sources in the kitchen today. We have two lights under the sink, two lights, uh, ceiling lights here. We got the fan and our hood vent. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, the lights are in. They've been replaced. We put lights underneath uh, the windows here. They are not wired in, but they're installed. We have to do some electrical later, so they're not currently working. Um, but we're excited to start the new year with new lights. Hey y'all. So in my laundry room, this is where I sort my eggs for the neighbors either give away or sell to them. And I have a little system here of which ones are newer, which ones are older. That way I am getting rid of the old eggs before I'm giving away new eggs. Hi darling. Poor little Peach, she is in heat for the first time. And she should be finishing of this cycle of being in heat um, about later today. Um, oh, you nasty. <laughs> Little baby. But she's very cuddly and needy right now. Yeah. Yeah, you want to say hi to everyone? Yeah. I don't like this feeling. I'm all alone. So I'm going to be calling the vet on Tuesday since tomorrow's a holiday um, and we will schedule her to get fixed. My mom was telling me that it's actually not good for the cats to have too many heat cycles if they're not going to actually have litters of kittens. It shortens their lifespan. So we're going to keep you for a long time so we'll get you fixed, okay? Normally, Peach does not like being held. Yeah, you're needy right now. I'm gonna finish the eggs, okay, baby? Hey, y'all, it is Monday, and Dale's gonna be working on a compost bin inside the chicken coop, and I'm going to be working on a sign uh, letting people drive by know what we have for sale. So, let's get to it. Here's the finished chicken coop. Daniel's gonna be weaving sticks in here, but the idea is we're gonna throw the compost in here and then the birds will till it so we don't have to rotate it. Um, Daniel's gonna be weaving sticks in here to make a wall. So the birds like it. They've been hanging out in it. Jumping up on it. There it is. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday and I am out here. Don't bite me. Painting biting me. <laughs> I'm out here um, in the yard. I have some trees I need to dig up that are right next to the house. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. And Tiny Tim's going to be hanging out, nibbling and scratching me for some love and affection. So let's get to it.
Well, I'm not sure when, but Daniel went through and dug up the trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this hole in. Hey y'all, Daniel and I are going to go fix some of our fence line. We had a tree fall down and we need to go chop up the tree to get it off our electrical fence. Let's go. Hey y'all, today Daniel is going to be doing a little work in the kitchen, getting ready for our new refrigerator to be delivered. And I'm gonna go outside and hopefully make some progress on my sale sign for the eggs and produce. Let's go. Husband got the chainsaw stuck, so he's trying to get it out of that. We got some openings on the side of the house that we've been fixing up today. You saw me painting a black piece of wood that is for this one right here um daniel has a piece of slate in front of it just because there's a small air gap so he's trying to block that but before the piece of wood they had on there would uh move whenever it was windy and it actually could wake us up in the house so we just tidied this up today you guys like being in there okay have a good night. The kitty cats came in early tonight because this morning there was a coyote when they were having their breakfast. So they've been freaked out all day. And uh, about a week ago, we started putting them in here at night and they each sleep on a chair. But I think they're a little lost. Like, aren't you guys gonna hang out with us? <laughs> My darlings. Love you, kitty kitties. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday, and we are going to replace this refrigerator with a new one that will have more freezer space. So the gentleman delivering it and installing it should be here any minute. So let's go. Hey, y'all. So here is our new refrigerator, and the old one we're keeping. It still works. Um, We'll be relocating that to another part of our house and possibly giving it away to somebody in need. But this refrigerator is not in place and like everything in this house, nothing is a straightforward job. Uh, we are going to need to cut off a bit of the cabinet that sits above it. We could push it in right now, but later we're putting in new flooring and that's gonna raise uh, the height of the floor up meaning we're going to need more clearance above this so we need to do that and hooking up the water line for the ice cube maker within this refrigerator well that's a whole project uh, the line runs from the side of the cabinets over here all the way across peach don't do that all the way across um come here she's being like so it runs through the cabinets over to the sink. So I had to drill a new hole within the cabinets um, and 
and then there's a whole issue with the dishwasher. So we're gonna wait till we get the new dishwasher, which we haven't purchased yet, <laughs> and um, have that put in so that way we know what clearance we have for the new line um, for the ice tray. So anyways, at the moment, this is just gonna sit out a little bit. Um, we'll shave the top of that cabinet. We'll get this pushed into place. Uh, and I'm just happy to have more space. So it is what it is. And in time, it'll be looking really nice. 